Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, it's serious craft coffee at Brand Street in Boardman. And I prepare my stuffed poblano peppers. They've got a nice kick. But first, we celebrate Serbia at the night in Belgrade. Trinity Serbian Orthodox Church celebrates their heritage with food and music each year when they host their night in Belgrade. It is the church's most popular and largest fundraising event. Well, the big night is going to start shortly, but of course we got to get all the food prepared. And all these baked chickens, uh, we've got Nikki and Betty here cutting up the white from the dark meat. And how many people are you anticipating tonight, Betty? 340. 340. 340. So how many chicken quarters did you bake off? We baked 45 whole chickens. And what else do we have on the menu tonight? Chivops, um, pork, stuffed pork, rice, mashed potatoes, green beans, strawberry romaine salad, and homemade strudel. I cannot wait to try this. This smells amazing. Well, Mickey Stankic is the president of the Circle of the Serbian Sisters, and here at the church, she serves as treasurer. How important is the night in Belgrade to the parish? It's one of our biggest fundraisers so that we can help and do anything that the church needs. Now, our last project, we cut all of the gutters with the gutter covers and etc. Whatever is needed for the church or the parish house, we do. What is the purpose of the night in Belgrade. How long has this been going on? It's been going on probably is uh, probably 60 years or more and it started out we found an old flyer and it had the dinner was seven dollars and it was stuffed pork chops and some other foods okay it's been going on a long time and it's a fundraiser and it it's one of the things we do to make money and you, to promote the Serbian heritage, yeah, uh, you right. always have authentic music. Exactly. We have a group coming from Serbia to perform tonight. They're called Talia, and they're fantastic. And if you miss this program, you're missing a lot. And let's go over the menu. I mean, this, you call this Serbian rice. It is so Good. What makes this rice Serbian? Okay, the Serbian rice is, of course, we do a lot of onions and celery, all right? And then we do the, the liquid is chicken soup that we make. We don't use bot soup, okay? And then we use the drippings from the roasted chickens that we put in here, plus salt, pepper, and vegeta. It's it's called vegeta. Again with the vegeta. Everybody loves that the stuff. Vegeta. Yeah, it gives it a good flavor and it helps. That's why we call it Serbian rice, but you could call it rice pilaf. Now, between your kolaji sales, your Friday fish, every Friday, not just during Lent, night in Belgrade, do you ladies ever get out of the kitchen? <laughs> Maybe on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you do, this is such a hard working parish. I mean, your girls always rise to the occasion. I have the best working group of ladies that you could ever ask for. And they're younger, now I'm getting some younger ones in there so they could take over. And with Libby getting everybody warmed up, I am just dying to um, celebrate the night in Belgrade. Uh, me too. And don't forget the Schlievo, you know? I think we better get one before we get things mo yeah, rolling I, much I further. so too. <laughs> For the Serbian sisters. Jibili. 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 Oh. You're knocking me over. Good luck. Nazdrovia. Okay. And what would a night in Belgrade be without my dear friend Libby Phil? Of course, she is part of the entertainment tonight. 
How many years, Libby, have you been playing this yeah, game? I can't even remember. I know it's at least 50 years, at least, and I'm, I'm doing all I can to help them. All I can is I'm, that's what I'm doing. And I kind of book jobs with them because of our girls to make sure in case something happens to me, they could continue, keep the culture going. Nothing is going to happen to you. You are our little jewel here for the Mahoning Valley. And this church, I mean, what a community. I mean, they all come together, the, the sisters of the Serbian circle. I mean, the generosity and the volunteerism is just amazing. And you really support all their events. Oh, yes, and I'll tell you, uh, this hall now, we've had a hall years back under the church, and we pushed our parents into getting this hall here because it's the best thing we've done. We're able to rent it out, we're able to have our socials, and that's what we've done. And thanks, and we, they didn't have the money, but we said, well, you pledge, like you buy a washing machine at Sears and you <laughs> pay so much a month. So that's how we got this hall. And your group here, I think it's so great. You, you see all ages. You've got Angela, you know, you've got the young ones starting up, and you're really keeping the timbres and music going. Teachers, and I'm, I'm with the union, I'm with the musicians, you did. I belong, belong to the CIO, everybody I see, I owe. <laughs> Well, I am anxious for your performance tonight, and uh, you know, play something we super special for me. Faithfully. We watch your program favorite, especially when your mother comes on and she goes, "Das Dravia." That's my Polish side. We got to make sure they're represented. Very good, Casey. You're right. Thank you, beautiful person. I'll tell you. Thank you for coming out tonight. Also, love you, love you too. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery with owner Phil Rita and Chef Tank. Been on field trips. I know from where you get your food. And always, I'm never disappointed by your menu. What do we have coming up? Okay, that's our Magic Monster Burger. It has two eight ounce patties and some Walnut Hill Farms pork belly on it with a little bit of pecan jam. We have our new pepperoni pretzel roll with house made marinara. We have our award winning bacon jam burger with premium pastured meats meat on it. And we also have our pot roast and of course our house pretzels. It all sounds so amazing. Casey, I am so proud of our kitchen team for the pride they take in making everything from scratch and supporting local farmers. It's what makes Magic Tree live up to who we are. And that's a place where people can eat, drink, and celebrate. Couldn't have said it better myself. in a baseball stadium when the lights go out. The experience, haunted attraction, is back at Eastwood Field in Niles. Six haunts in one location, plus all new escape rooms. More details at theexperience.com. Fear awaits. Here at the upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Mayflower Wallum is your full service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wallum with three locations to serve you. I'm Mark Hanai. We need a judge in Youngstown that will be tough on crime. We need to keep our schools safe. I support Hanai for judge. Our city can't move forward if crime affects our schools and our students. I support Hanai for judge. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. 
At the Vein Center in MedSpa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. We provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center in MedSpa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. Call the Vein Center in MedSpa for a free consultation. See why our patients leave satisfied. Now accepting Anthem and Highmark. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's, and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients, and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rolly Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Well, today I'm going to prepare a really easy comfort dish. Everyone is familiar with stuffed peppers. My mother makes delicious stuffed peppers, but it's just ground beef and rice and tomatoes. I am giving it a twist, and this has got a little bit of a kick. This will be my stuffed poblano peppers. My husband, Ken, loves poblanos. They're a little bit spicy but not overpowering they have a really nice smoky texture they bake really nice so i'll be using the poblano as the little vessel for our meat and instead of ground beef i'm going to be using hot sausage buy it in bulk a lot of people love the Ruli brothers brand they love catullo's uh, de pizos, whatever your favorite hot sausage is, and everything else will remain the same. We'll add a little bit of rice, some breadcrumbs, but we'll use some different cheeses to top it off with. And I'm telling you, in under an hour, this is a great and easy main dish. So let's get started with my stuffed poblano peppers. For this recipe, you'll need three or four poblano peppers, one and a half pounds of your favorite hot Italian sausage, one half cup of cooked rice, one small onion diced, one egg, a third cup of seasoned breadcrumbs, one 10 or 14 ounce can of spicy diced tomatoes or your favorite salsa, queso fresco cheese or shredded taco blend cheese. Well, I've already preheated the oven to 375 degrees. And I took the small onion that was diced and put that with a little bit of butter in a uh, small skillet and I've softened it. So we can add that to the recipe. And then I cooked off a half cup of rice, which probably brought it to almost a full cup. And I have my nine by 13 pan and I treated it with cooking spray. And now I will take the diced tomatoes with green chilies. There's a lot of different brands of this, or you can take your favorite picante or salsa and use that as the base. And then I am just going to pour this into the bottom of the dish. So now we'll begin assembling everything else. This recipe is enough for six to eight stuffed poblano peppers, depending on the size of the pepper. These are a nice medium size. And I de-stemmed them, and then I took out all the seeds, and then I cut them lengthwise. So it'll be a nice little pepper boat to hold the hot sausage. And right now I have six ready to go. So then I'll assemble the meat. We have a pound and a half of hot sausage. I will add the cooked onion. I will add the egg and then the rice and the breadcrumbs. And that's it. That is all you need. Now we'll just get in there and mix it all together. And the egg night, you know, is nice for the moisture. And then of course, with the rice, you have a nice binder along with the breadcrumbs. And I mean, this isn't hard and fast. If you want to have a little more starch in there, you can always make more rice. If you don't want any starch, you really don't need to add the rice. So now you start assembling them. And it's probably, uh, what would that be? About a half a cup. And I just try to evenly 
line the pepper with this so it will cook evenly once we pop it in the oven. And you just kind of form it along the line of the pepper. Leave a little bit of height in there. But you don't want to overstuff it because then it'll take that much longer to cook through. So then we just, there, perfect, beautiful, nice, and put that in our dish. These filled up the pan perfectly. Six gorgeous peppers, cover them with foil, and we're gonna pop them in the oven for 30 minutes. Well, I just pulled these out. It's been 30 minutes. Remove the foil. I'm not going to put the foil back on. And I really like the queso fresca cheese. It's a mild, soft, crumbly Mexican cheese, and it really works nicely with this dish. If you're not a fan of this, you can use um, a taco Mexican blend shred or you don't have to use any cheese at all but now that you remove the foil you just want to get these browned a little bit on top and get these cooked further but I'll tell you these smell amazing so I'm gonna pop these back in uncovered for another 30 minutes and then dinner will be served So it's about an hour baking time total at 375 and then let them rest a little bit just to you know settle down a little bit about five or ten minutes before you serve them and um, you know I always have been a big fan of your traditional oh my stuff the peppers. good old Stella stuff yeah Stella stuffed with the red or the yeah. green bell peppers and you know whatever's in season wonderful um, ground beef and that but what do you think of the uh, kicked up version Little, I have been dying to taste them. Little bam. Oh, they're great. Aren't they good? They're very good. And I love these peppers. The poblano is mild. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that bitterness to it, but it's no. smoky. Mm -hmm. And I think they're really good. Very, now, very because good. there's a little bit of heat, I thought that the um, California Cider Company, they make Ace. This is a pineapple cider. It is... Not real sweet, but it really will cut through some of the heat and it, it's refreshing with uh, this kind of dish. What do you think? Here's to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to the pineapple. Cheers! That's right. Mm, this is really it is good. good. Mm. It's a nice oh, palate that is cleanser. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, just go to my website, caseymalonshow.com, for the uh, stuffed poblano pepper recipe and you are going to love it They're thanks delicious. mom oh, cheers cheers the casey malone show will be right back with more local flavor hi i'm elizabeth bernard i've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years and my message has never changed if you're involved in an automobile accident don't try to handle it yourself call a lawyer a lawyer will be your representative dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962 I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. What happens in a baseball stadium when the lights go out? The experience. Haunted Attraction is back at Eastwood Field in Niles. Six haunts in one location, plus all new escape rooms. More details at theexperience.com. Fear awaits.
My mom was always in my corner. Always pushing me to do better. I couldn't have asked for a better mother. So when she needed assisted living... I did my research. Doctors, nurses... And others with family and assisted living... They all said... Trust the name you know. Briarfield. For assisted living with top health care experts, a caring staff, and a comfortable home-like setting. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Trust the name you know. Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum. It's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one-of-a-kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. La droga, la violencia y el crimen están matando nuestra comunidad. Si quieres hacer algo en contra de la violencia, en contra del crimen, en contra de la droga, vote por Mark Hanna y para Wes. Él será fuerte contra el crimen. This is Matt Campbell and he is the owner of Branch Street Coffee Roasters. And over a year you've been here in Boardman and I mean you want to talk about an enthusiastic coffee aficionado. You finally had to come into the business to feed your habit. Yeah, we, uh, I fell in love with coffee, uh, my wife and I, about five or six years ago. And um, someone had, you know, I was always a coffee drinker and someone was telling us about this coffee place that we had to check out. And it was something that was in our mind, but we had never actually gone to visit. And he came into work one day and slid the coffee to me and said, no, believe me, you have to try this coffee. And it, that's how it all started. I fell in love with the coffee and started to find out why that was so different than everything else I'd ever had before. Well, I mean, you, th now this is so interesting to me. Now, so was this coffee that enlightened you, the pour over? It was a pour over method. It was uh, made by a place called Rook in New Jersey and they were new to the scene. They were roasting fresh coffee and they would pour it for you, grind it for you right in front of you there and that's really what was making the big difference. So I wanted to learn how to replicate that for coffee for myself. And so at home you and your wife started the pour over and getting you know better beans and things like that yeah we realized that first and foremost it was the coffee the quality of the coffee made a huge difference and then making it fresh and grinding it fresh and doing little steps could really enhance the coffee experience and the more we started to learn about it the more it was like the rabbit hole and we just kept getting deeper and deeper into it prior to your revelation <laughs> What were you drinking? Like, what, what, what was your method of brewing? What kind of coffee were you purchasing? We would pretty much just grab a scoop and put it into the home coffee pot, add water to it, and turn the switch on. Or if we were in a rush or just out and about, we would go through a drive through line for many one of the big name stores that are out there that are in existence in every community. And then, you know, the, the Rook came in yeah. and changed your life. It took one cup of coffee. Experiencing that huge difference in flavor turned it from a commodity, something that I was just getting every morning on my way to work to something that I was savoring and really enjoying so you are making sodas yeah with the juice bar next door yeah well, um, the orange avocado opened up um, a little bit after we did and they have such a tremendous product that we uh, decided to come up with something that would be kind of a collaboration and we came up with these sodas We've got four or five different recipes for different kinds of soda, and uh, between our two shops, we have kegs at both shops, so you can fill up. Um, we're going to be having growlers coming in next week. Growlers? I mean, this pair is excellent. Yeah, it's tremendous. And then, you would think that this was a Guinness, but it is not. Th just like Guinness, this is nitrogen. Yeah, it's nitrogenated coffee, so what we do is we cold brew. Um, the coffee and then we'll put it into a keg and um, instead of carbonating it you put nitrogen in there and the way it comes out of the stout tap it really makes it creamy and almost sweet. 
It's delicious. Now, when you say cold brew, what is different about that process? Hot water never touches the coffee. Um, it's instead of using hot water to do the extraction and pull out all the coffee flavor, it's time. So we put it in cool water at room temperature and we just let it um, extract for anywhere from 18 to 24 hours, depending on the method that we're using. And when it comes out, it's a really rich, full body, delicious coffee. Um, we have a tower that lets one drop at a time go down into the coffee bed and that helps to uh, extract the flavor from a lot of our single origins. So um, the single origin coffee can have a lot of the same flavors that you'd get from the hot. Now, so let's say you buy a whole bean and, okay, not from you, it's on a store shelf. Mm -hmm. So already that we know it's not super fresh, correct? It's already been on that shelf for a couple weeks probably. And before that, it's left a warehouse where it's been stored, before it's been ordered, and before that, it was inside of a giant roasting facility. So you can so be talking So the integrity is already... Yeah, it's already months down the road. That's the benefit of having this specialty coffee explosion though. Most communities have a roaster nearby where they can go and pick up exceptional coffee. Um, we're on the internet now too, so you can order it and it's packaged up the day that we roast it and shipped right out the door. So it's making it to your house within a couple of days of it being roasted. So you're already starting way ahead of the curve. You opened this, it's been over a year. Yeah. And how, you know, how has it been received? It's been, it's been great. People really embrace the change. Um, just like with my first cup, a lot of people are getting first, uh, their first experience of fresh roasted specialty coffee. Um, it's not just that it's fresh roasted, we're getting a high grade of coffee. This is some of the best like 5% of coffee in the world and um, we're bringing it in, we're really careful about the way we roast it, we're really methodical about the way that we brew it because um, we want to get that best flavor out of it. So as people are exposed to that and they start to experience it, it changes their habits too. Now they're looking for not necessarily a 60 ounce drink on their way to work, they're savoring the better quality, um, they're savoring the experience. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.